United Nations Security Council. So that unlike the League of Nations, our deliberations would be more than talk that serves their interests and listens to them. We have much yet to do in Afghanistan and beyond. Many nations represented here have joined in the fight against global terror. And the people of the United States, the United States will return to UNESCO in disease. The suffering is great. Side without freedom for both sides. I think it uh, signaled that uh, the only way that Saddam could uh, avoid uh, a war was to fulfill those UN resolutions and effectively end his regime. So what was said from my interpretation was that uh, uh, if Saddam has the choice of either implementing uh, changes to his regime and therefore bringing about the end of it, or then uh, war is inevitable. Do you think there will be a war? I think if Saddam does not back off, and I don't think he will, I think uh, that, the, uh, that the United Nations and the international community will once again be dragged by Saddam into a war. This is Saddam's war. He's had 11 years of diplomacy. Time is now running out. And finally, could you tell us in Arabic your thoughts on what Bush said? I think that the Khitab of Rais Bush was very good for the people of the Iraqi country. He said that the people of the people of the country and the threat of this regime and the threat of this regime on the country and on the United States to take action from the government of the country and to take action from the United States. So I think that the change will be made by Allah and Iraq will be removed from the country and the threat of this regime. I'm going to give you six weeks. How is it?